This is Orion Riker. This is Orion yeah. Riker. And uh, and we're at Justin Irwin Plaza on January 20th, which is an Occupy the whole financial district action in 2012. I'm known as the original occupiers. I was here to help establish the camp. Yeah, you were. And um, you know, it's been, it was really hard for them to take the camp away from us. But um, it's been really wonderful today to see how many people showed up in the rain to brave the elements, and that this movement is still going strong. And there are people, all kinds of people. There are children and seniors, people from every walk of life all kinds of people that you could possibly imagine and we're all out here standing up for the people of this country and for our freedoms and against the corporate criminals and the banksters who are ruining people's lives just to make money yeah. and um, it's very inspiring to see all these people out here and that I've been able to be a part of this movement and I'm very proud of everyone and everyone's so amazing down here to see people coming together and organizing in all different kinds of ways. Even to, after even after the even, camp that was cleared out of just Nerman Plaza which is where we are right even now. Even after the police came through illegally and seized our camp Camp. Yep. They took all of our stuff. They took all of my stuff, and Did everyone really? else's you stuff. Lost yeah, stuff. I lost stuff. They took our stuff and put it in a garbage can and a trash compactor. And a lot of people lost their stuff. And even through all of this, the police brutality and the illegal arrests, and people getting sick out in the rain the last time, sick. they We're got still the out hockey here. flu. We're still out here doing this. We're not going away. We're getting bigger and stronger. When the spring comes around, you better watch out. I want to ask you about Cyber Occupy. You're involved in that now. Yeah, You're I've really gotten into cyber activism also, which is a very amazing way to get involved with this movement and community organizing. And if you can't come out here and occupy yourself or come to a direct action, you can do all kinds of cyber activism. Use your social networks and social networking and just make bring all of the other things you know and all the things you're frustrated about and post them online. Try to get everyone, your family and your friends, to do something about what's going on. There are many things you can do if you can't make it out here, if you can't make it to the cities. There's so many things that you can do to support this movement. It's very important. Our freedom is at stake here. People's lives are at stake, their livelihoods. So do whatever you can to help out with this movement. Talk about cyber activism. Look at this mask up here. Mm -hmm. On this young person. Forget about all that.